Netflix is the biggest streaming platform on the planet. But did you know that there are things that people universally hate about it? So today, with the help of this insane AI coding platform, I'll be completely rebuilding it from the ground up and fixing these issues once and for all. Suck it, Netflix. But before I start building and showing Netflix how it's really done, we need to figure out what people hate about our favorite streaming platform. So step one, let's ask Google. It has a new AI, so it should be able to find some interesting comments online. Prioritizing quality over quantity it's content they have thrown everything against the wall and hope it sticks i love that while netflix has a massive selection i'm not interested in 99 percent of it okay so potentially showcasing content that people are actually interested in just about everything to do with the user interface. Okay, so it seems like finding the content and the user interface might be able to be improved a bit. The infinite scroll means you waste time scrolling up and down. I totally agree. Okay, here's a second feature. A better rating system for me, the value of one out of 10 stars is long over. Okay, and here's a whole article talking about all the hate around autoplay of the trailers. They literally created a setting so you can turn them off. And here's a one star review that's just called Cleopatra was never black. What? Warning my friends, the internet is a toxic place. But we've now decided to go with a better rating system, killing that endless scroll and prioritizing content you actually care about, and finally murdering that autoplay for the trailers. So now that we know what we want to build, let me introduce you to the most advanced AI coding platform. The name of the platform is Bolt. It has very recently been released and I've been playing around with it and I must say I'm quite impressed. So let's jump in. Please build an app like Netflix using Next.js. So what this is actually going to do is it's going to create and open a code editor. It's gonna start coding as you can see, but more importantly, it's gonna start off with creating a page structure. You see it's building out this entire thing from just one prompt. So we're gonna see the results here, and then we're gonna use that as a starting point. Now, just to be clear, this is still in early phases, so we'll probably hit some bugs, completely normal. But boom, just like that, I'm able to see that it has already generated a pretty impressive first version of this app. And we can see that it is trending now, we see new releases. This already looks really good. So the next thing I'm going to do is come back here and start adapting it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that here for each one of the cards, please include the title of the movie, the duration and the overall rating out of five. And now it has applied these changes. I'm going to come down and we're gonna see, there you go. You can see there's a star system here already, which is really cool. It seems like the overlay seems to not cover the entire card. There was an error processing your request. Totally fine, this happens sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and click Let's go again. There you go. Now the card is fully covered. So we fixed this problem. The first thing I notice is that the first problem we're trying to solve is relevant content, right? Oh, great. There's so many cool things. So I think this could still be like a feature of like recommended movies at the top. So I think that it would be cool if this was kind of a sliding card. Could we have the hero section be a sliding card? So even though we want things that are quite relevant to what we're looking for, it's also nice to kind of have a couple of cool options that have just come out. Now we're talking, check it out. Boom, the matrix. So that works pretty well. I like the idea, interstellar. Now one thing I noticed is that Netflix uh, logo at the top. Could you please align the logo? Boom, and it's just realigned it right here. So this is perfect. Now it's aligned here with trending. It's exactly what I was looking for. Now the cool thing here is that it already doesn't have endless scroll, right? And there are really three sections that I usually care about when it comes to Netflix. I don't know about you, but the first one is continue watching. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. Then I would say that the second one is probably uh, recommended for you. And then the third one could be trending. So now I'm actually seeing the things that I want to see inside of this. I'm going to continue playing around a little bit to make it kind of perfect. I want to make these cards a little bigger. I want to make potentially even a search field so it's easier to find things that I'm looking for. Excellent. I'm glad that this broke here. So basically, if anything breaks, what you want to do is you want to either fix the problem in the chat or you can grab this message and just put it inside and just say fix this issue and is actually embedded an element which is the uh, carousel autoplay so basically so it can scroll through i just thought that might look nice boom let's go so now that we've created this home page and i think it looks pretty good here i'll probably continue fine-tuning it but now i want to create detail pages so these detail pages are going to live underneath this and once you click on it it should be able to bring you to one of these detailed pages so let's go ahead and do that we have a details page we can thumbs up it 
Thumbs up doesn't work. The share doesn't work. Play doesn't work yet. Perfect. But we have a details page. So now let's ask it to improve this details page. So now make sure that these detail pages include a full description of the movie, the option to watch the trailer and advanced reviews I'm gonna put. I would like five ratings with the most common rating criteria as found on Rotten Tomatoes. I want to see if it's going to understand this. It would be quite impressive if it did. And I won't bore you with all this. I'm actually just going to continue building it out. I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, so I've adapted this to my likings. I've not added the star system. And now I want to actually create an admin panel where I can add movies so that people can actually view them. Before that, let's check out what I built. So here we are, my friends. As you can see here, this is the home page and it's switching between the cards automatically. Then we have uh, continue watching. Now the cool thing about these cards is that basically you have the overall star system and some information about them, but you also have here how much you've watched, right, of the movie. We also have the recommended one and we have the trending one. No more endless scrolling, this is it. You can scroll to the right. Now for each one of these pages, we also have detail pages. So if I go to the dark Knight, for example, I click on this and we're gonna see all the information about The Dark Knight. You can rate it, you can share it, um, you can play it, obviously. Um, you also have what we said, advanced ratings. So basically, overall acting, visuals, story, soundtrack, and reviews for each one as well. This is already super cool, but I wanna create another panel that's an admin panel. That's gonna allow me actually, as the owner of Netflix clone, to upload new movies when I own them and to be able to feature them. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a section around that. Let's do it. So check it out, what it added here is a little plus button for me to just add it. I would only see this as an admin. Now here I see that there's a little issue with this, so I'm gonna fix it. But basically you could add all of the different things that we mentioned. So let me go ahead and uh, click out of this and I'm gonna ask it to improve that. Boom, add a new movie. Christian movie, the real movie. The best movie on the planet. And then I can go ahead and add the movie. So this has done exactly what I was looking for here. Okay, so we've now created a better navigation. We've also added advanced feature for the review system and we don't have autoplay in this version, which is awesome. But one of the most difficult parts of actually launching an app is to get it live, to deploy it. What that means is we wanna connect it to all the different things, right? The server, we wanna basically have it live on a URL at the end of the deployment. But this is the most frustrating part for any development team. But let me. Show you how you can deploy in just a couple of minutes without any technical skills required. On the top right here, we have a button that's called deploy. And when we click on deploy, it's going to deploy the full application, as you may guess. Now, this is actually pushing it from a test environment to a live environment so it can live on the URL. It has failed building the project. Excellent. Let's go ahead and figure out why it failed. Okay, it's saying that these random movies that I asked it to grab uh, might not be able to showcase in the live version. So we would actually potentially need to have actual data. So add a bunch of these uh, movies and series to the website and then we'd be able to launch. But I'm asking it to simply just fix it, fix this issue, let's launch anyway. Let's go. And just like that, after a little bit of debugging, as we can see here, we have the website. Ooh la la. Go ahead and click on any one of these as well. And we're gonna be able to see the full details. Again, these are placeholders uh, that we would have to actually fill out if we wanted them to appear with the titles and the actual movies that we have. So there you go. You're welcome, Netflix. By the way, if you wanna sign me for a series of building startups with AI and no code, just hit me up. For the rest of you, if you're looking for the easiest way to build an app without coding, no code tools are a great option. You can check out this video where I break the entire process down. Subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching. And my friends, let's go.